Well, you're a guy with plenty of experience. What do you tell the other guys when it comes to a long road trip like this? How do you, how do you keep yourself fresh, ready, prepared for matches all across the country? Yeah, I think we're um, anticipating um, everybody getting an opportunity at some point. Um, so it's about taking it when you get it. Uh, being on the road um, will be nice. Um, I think we're ready for it. It'll be good to get our group back together. Um, get guys healthy, get back on the road, spend some time together. Uh, it's similar to preseason in a way where you get to, to have more meals together and um, kind of reconnect after a, a long stretch here. So uh, I think the buy-in just kind of happens naturally um, by training hard, doing things the right way, and, and hopefully starting with a result tomorrow night. At a time where the results are not coming for you guys, is it is an opportunity to get together and kind of become closer as a team something that you guys need? For sure. Um, I think it's a good thing um, being able to bring our whole group on the road with us and um, uh, and refocus, um, re, uh, reestablish um, our identity and, and uh, the points of emphasis that we were using to be able to get results um, is, a, is a big part for us. And so getting that group back together and um, having more time together, um, I think will benefit us as we uh, take on this challenge. These last four matches, you guys have had shots go off the crossbar, penalty kick, miss. Is it more encouraging that these chances are being created or disappointing that they're not being finished? Both. Um, obviously, uh, I think we spoke about it a couple of weeks ago, right? Uh, games are won and lost in the box in moments. Um, decisions on the defensive side of the ball, decisions on the attacking side of the ball when you get in the the box you got to make plays um, and so we're we're frustrated we had some meetings yesterday um, we're disappointed in ourselves the coaches are giving us game plans that are working um, and as players we're getting in moments and we are not executing and, and so that's the the biggest um, frustration for us so we've got to continue to to work we've we've now watched the video again we've seen the mistakes that were made in New York City um, similar to some of the other mistakes that were made this year and, and it's a uh, it's a time in the season now where that stuff can't happen anymore uh, we're 12 13 games in we've had enough experience now um, making mistakes on set pieces not setting the line properly all these types of things are you know quite frankly turning into to lost points and, and so now it's time to to understand that these are mistakes um, that have been made and they can't happen again. What's it been like for you kind of playing somewhat of a new position and then mm -hmm. not having any idea really who's going to be next to you on your left? Yeah, it's been fine. Um, you know, I, I thought the two guys who played in the middle the other day did, did quite well. You know, RJ and Tony did, did well. They both played pretty well against Chicago. Um, you know, as Jordan alluded to, it's, it's a bit of bad luck at the moment and not getting um, the you know the the rub of the green if you will but um guys have been battling and, and so you 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 appreciate that aspect um whoever's stepped in the the back line or anywhere on the field has has tried to do a job well um but now it's time to take it back to that next level and, and be ruthless bring bring quality that we just haven't um had that's that's contributed to this losing streak I'd ask uh, Coach this, how much does this club miss OCV when it comes to bringing these guys back, getting them ready, getting them match minutes before just tossing them out onto the field in MLS play? Yeah, it doesn't help. Um, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, guys need minutes, guys need experience. It's not easy to just send guys away uh, to get games. We try to we try to play 11v11 in training, but when, you know, when there's weeks where we're down numbers injury-wise, we don't even have 22 guys to be able to get a – um, an inner squad game together, so it, it sure doesn't help. Um, but like I said, it's more of a a, uh, a sharpness issue, um, and so we're doing the best with what we have to work with. And, and guys are given everything. We just got to make sure that we're a little bit um, sharper. And I think once it's hard to anticipate for injuries, right? So once we get our 22 guys back and we can have inner squad games and we can keep everybody fresh and sharp and match fit, we'll be in a much better place but but with with the amount of um, injuries and um, you know our depth has been tested to the point where we can't even have um, full training sessions the way we would like how valuable could this match tomorrow be with the losing streak obviously it won't help with the standings in MLS but just to get that taste out of your mouth yeah it'd be nice it's it's fun to uh, get on the road it's fun to play these lower uh, Division teams, you know, they they're, they're up for it. It's a it's a huge challenge. It's a turf field and a stadium that we don't usually play on. So it's just kind of a fun, unique experience. It 
gets you out of the the grind of going to the same stadiums, the same hotels, the same everything. It's just kind of nice to go down to Miami. I, I think it'll be good for for our group refreshing, but but they're decent. Uh, we watch video on them, and and they're no uh, they're no pushovers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be sharp and ready. And um, the the group that takes the field. Uh, has to understand and, and learn from the past couple of years that this is a going to be a tough match and we need to be ready. Does it take you back to like your roots of just yeah. playing a high school game or it's, just, you know, it's fun? Game it, or? it really is fun. It really is unique to to go back to you know feeling yeah, where everything's not kind of perfect. Yeah. You know, sometimes in in MLS and, and the world that we live in now, how far the leagues come, things are sometimes um, too easy, especially for younger players. So it's fun to go back and have things to be a little uh, more uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, I like it and I think it's, I think it'd be good for our group. Well, would you even say that sometimes Open Cup games, they can be even more challenging because um, the other players that you're not, it's not an MLS team, but the players are going to play their hearts out. Like yeah. for example, when we played against him, you know, yeah. how many goes this for then? Yeah, it's not easy. Um, this is their opportunity. They wanted to, uh, you know, they wanted to play against MLS team. Um, it's it's not easy for sure. They they bring everything, but at the end of the day, if we've got to match that every time we take the field for this club, we need to outwork the team and, and represent our city the right way. Um, and so if we do that, our quality should come through. Uh, and then we go back to, to how we started this interview, which is when we get in the box, we got to make plays. Um, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, a lower league team, a MLS team, it really doesn't matter. When we get in the box, we got to be ruthless, we got to finish chances, um, and we got to make plays defensively. How much of a psychological boost could it be to have Dom back and Jonathan back with the captain's armband just to see those guys? Huge, yeah. huge. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the way this league works with, with your players, um, your, your top, top guys, um, you need those guys on the field. You need them uh, healthy, uh, fit, and, and doing well for the club. Um, obviously, we've played a bunch of games without Dom and, and haven't managed to be able to, to replace him in an effective way yet. Um, uh, and so we need him. There's there's no two ways about it. He's a, a huge personality. Specs is the same. Uh, we look forward to getting those guys back, but it's, it's, uh, it's more important that we keep them healthy and keep them um, with the group, and, and I think we'll be just fine. Thanks, Paul.